Over the weekend, there was this great Stack Overflow question about orchestration and workflows using a bunch of REST APIs. And the author was really concerned about retries and failures and how to best build an orchestration to make sure that all of these APIs ran sequentially because the second API required information from the first API, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I thought this would be a great example to show off the power of Netflix Conductor. And so I'm using the Orcus Playground, which is basically a playground to use Conductor. And you can go to it at play.orcus.io. Um, and I'm using the Stack Overflow Sequential HTTP workflow, which is available for anyone to see. And this is a very simple workflow. There's two tasks that run get IP and get weather. And the first one takes an IP address and gives out a whole bunch of information. And then the second one takes some of that information and gets the weather of the location. And so let's walk through this workflow. Um, there's two tasks. There's get IP and it's calling this IP API and it is sending in the workflow input of the IP address, which you can see right here. So the workflow takes an IP address and then uses that in this first API call and it spits out a bunch of information. The second one is calling a, it's a weather API and it is using the zip code that comes out of the, the get IP reference output response body. There's a JSON response. And one of the, the items in the response body is the zip code. And so now we can call the weather for the zip code of, that the IP address is coming out of. And then the, the final response here of, of the workflow is the output parameters. It's going to give us the zip code and the forecast for the zip code. And so it's going to give the, again, the output response body zip from the get IP. And from the get weather output, we're going to get the response body current conditions comment. And so it's going to say cloudy. It might say rainy. It looks like it started to rain. All right. So we're going to run this and see what happens. So I already have it all queued up right here. I'm using the Stack Overflow Sequential HTTP Workflow. It should be available for anyone to see in play.orcus.io. Um, the input, I'm just sending an IP address. This is my IP address. If you want to know what your IP address is, you can just go to the Google search bar and say, what's my IP address? And it'll give you a number and you can just put that in there. Then you click Run Workflow and it's giving me a workflow ID. And if I click that, we can track the workflow as it's running. And you can see here that this is running. When it's green, that means this task is completed. So it already has my IP address. I'll refresh it. And it's done three attempts on this get weather reference. Now the person in the Stack Overflow question was asking like, how do I do retries and refreshes? And all of that's built into Conductor. And so either, oh, it failed. And I'm gonna show you why it failed. Um, if we go here into the timeline, we're gonna see this API is very, very slow. It took, this one was 1800 milliseconds, 1900, almost two seconds, 1700 and 1700. And if we look in the actual workflow, um, I'm only letting the connection, I'm making the connection timeout after 1700 milliseconds. So if I make this 2500 milliseconds, it'll work on the first try. You can also see that I have, um, I have retries set to three. So it's going to retry it three times uh, right here. Um, you could change that retry count and you can also change the way the retries are. You can have it be a fixed time. I have these set to be five seconds and it's fixed. You could have an exponential back off. Um, so it, it goes even, you know, it, it backs off at longer times. In this case, the only reason it's failing is that this is a free API that doesn't require an API key. And it's just a little bit slow. So it's taken two seconds. So we're going to try 2,500 milliseconds here in the connection timeout. I'm going to save this workflow and confirm it. The workflow is saved. And now I can come back over here to my failed workflow and I can go to actions and I can say restart it with the latest definitions. If I come to the diagram and refresh, you can see this first one is run. Failed the first time. And it's restarting every five seconds. So we just have to wait a second to see if it's gonna go. It's still failing at 2,500. And you can see they're going at 2,500. It worked on the fourth try. Lo and behold, it works. That's awesome. So if we look here, 
we can look at this task and we can see that the first three failed and the fourth one worked. And the output says that, um, oh, it is raining now. You can, oh, no, that's tomorrow it's raining. Current conditions is comments, light rain showers. And so now that should show up here in the entire workflow input output. I gave my IP address. It comes back with the zip code and the forecast of light rain showers. So here we have it. This is a workflow that I created very, very quickly that uses sequential HTTP tasks to walk through um, that where the second one requires data from the first one to continue through the pathway. Um, if you'd like to try this out, it is available at play.orcus.io. Just sign up with your email account. It's free. And you can see the stack overflow sequential HTTP. To make changes to it, you'll have to make a copy and save it with a different name. But then you can play with those different timeout numbers just to see how the, all of those things affect the way the APIs work and the power of conductor to just do all of that you know, synchronization and tries and retries and the failures and all of that is just done automatically with Conductor. So thanks for watching the video and watch our channel for a lot more information on how you can use Conductor to make your workflows and your orchestration easier. Thanks for watching.